Good days to all the Form 4 students. How are you? Now we are still in Chapter 10, Consumer Mathematics, Financial Management. So, today we will talk about long-term financial goals. Okay, long-term financial goals are as important as short-term financial goals. Now, the purpose of the long-term financial plan is to make sure the goals can be achieved as planned in the initial stage. Long-term financial plans usually exceed five years. Five years. Okay, exit five years. Such as children's education, retirement, and buying a house. To develop a long-term financial plan, the key aspects to be considered are as follow. So, let's study the diagram. Okay, inflation rate. Okay, the first one is inflation rate followed by interest rate and personal health. Okay, there are three. So we need to consider the three important aspects. One is inflation rate. Second is interest rate followed by third is personal health okay so let's go through one by one what is inflation rate what is interest rate and what is personal health in developing a long-term financial plan it would be better to start saving early because this practice can help us in achieving our financial goals faster. For example, we should prepare for retirement, buy a property, and save for children's education. Long-term financial plans develop vary for each individual. Vary for each individual. The income of an individual or joint income of husband and wife allow an individual to have sufficient monthly savings in a shorter period of time. Now, this is long-term financial goals. So, we need to prepare early. Now, let's discuss other aspects that need to be considered in developing a long-term financial plan. Let's study the example. Inje Shade and his wife intend to buy a house in six years after getting married. The total income is Ringgit Malaysia, 8,000. And their total fixed and variable expenses is Ringgit Malaysia, 6,500. They plan to buy a double-story house priced at Ringgit Malaysia, 720,000 with a down payment of 72,000. A. How much is the monthly savings that Inje Sheikh and his wife must save in order to achieve their financial goal? B. Is it wise for Inje Sheikh to buy a house priced at Ringgit Malaysia 720000 with his current financial planning? Okay. Now, let's study the question again. Buy a house in six years. Okay. Their income is Ringgit Malaysia, 8,000. 
total fixed and variable expenses is six thousand five hundred, and then they plan to buy a double story house, price at seven hundred and twenty thousand in ringgit Malaysia, and they need to pay a down payment of seventy two thousand. So the question A is asking you to calculate the monthly savings that Injit Sheikh and his wife must save, okay, in order to achieve the financial goal, okay. So let's discuss annual savings needed by Injit Sheikh is RM seventy two thousand divided by six, which is twelve thousand. And monthly savings needed by Injil Shade is twelve thousand divided by twelve months. So, the amount that Injil Shade need to save every month is ringgit Malaysia, one thousand. Okay, for Injil Shade, okay to save one thousand per month. In order to achieve his long-term financial goal, is not difficult because his family's total income is eight thousand. Okay, but uh, uh, for B, it is not advisable for in in the shade to buy the, such an expensive house because. Although Injet Shed is able to pay down payment seventy two thousand, okay, down payment is ten percent of the house, ten percent of the seventy two thousand, but uh, his monthly housing loan instalments can burden him due to high expenses, so it is not advisable for Injet Shed. To buy such an expensive house. Now let's study what is inflation. Inflation is a situation of continuing increase in the general price level. Okay, the price keep on increase over certain period of time. That is so called inflation. So, students, today you have learned what is long-term financial plan. Okay. Also, we discuss uh what is a uh, long-term financial goals and the key aspects to be considered for long-term financial goals. All right. So we also discuss one example. About the long-term financial goals, Injet Shed buying a house cost Ringgit Malaysia seven hundred and twenty thousand, which is very expensive. And also, we discuss other aspect that need to be considered in order to develop long-term financial plan. So, uh, for today's lesson, we have uh, discussed uh, how Injet Shed plan his long-term financial goal by buying a double-story house. Okay, and we also think that it is not wise for Injet Shed to buy such an expensive house. Okay, so we also solve the problem for A and B. So I think that's all for today. I hope my video teaching help you to have a clearer picture what is long term financial goals. And with that, I thank you and see you for the next video teaching. Bye, and have a nice day to all my dear students. So, let's take a rest, have fun, 
enjoy the advertisement in my YouTube. Okay, bye. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching.